Okay, today, um, this is a situation where these restorations have been here for about a year or so. And if you look at this, obviously, um, he has some recession and very thin band of keratinized tissue. None of it is attached. So you would say, okay, well, this is a mucogingival problem, and it is. But when you look at this mucogingival defect and realize that it's been there for years, and then also realize that this overhanging margin has been here for over a year, and the gingival margin is where this essentially a marker is it hasn't gotten any worse so what do you do you could do nothing which is what we've chosen to do and we're just going to marginate this and kind of watch this mucogingival surgery nowadays is so predictable that if it get, does get worse then we can always fix it um, then you would think oh well you know everybody every periodontist would do a graft here but we don't necessarily have to do a graft um, not every area of limited keratinized tissue needs a graft. If it hadn't been for this overhanging margin, and he's got one here as well, and here as well, um, his tissue would probably be healthier. So what we're going to do is use some diamond-coated ultrasonics and finish these margins. This is our diamond ultrasonic. These are actually custom made. Um, and we're going to be looking at making more of these for use with the endoscope. But it's certainly valuable as far as using these when you have vision. But you should be able to see what you're doing when you're using diamond ultrasonic. So now we're using this super fine piezo diamond that's um, made by the Satellite company but what we've done is we've modified it and made it magneto stricter. Piezos you have to screw in and out and I've just I've just used two different instruments and just change them in a matter of seconds, just pop it in and out. Okay, there's the finishing of the, um, the margin. Take a little closer look. Like. 